Hey, my name is Jim Neal. I'm a professor uh, of professor of virology and molecular oncology at the University of Glasgow, and I'm associate director of the Centre for Virus Research. And with my colleague Ewan Cameron, I lead a cancer research group that has a long-standing interest in the RUNX gene family. Now, these are transcription factors that play essential roles in development and are of increasing interest in many cancer types. Um, one of the family members of RUNX, RUNX1, is a major target for chromosomal translocations in human leukemia. But our interest was initially stimulated by the discovery almost 20 years ago that um, the, all three RUNX genes can collaborate potently with MIC oncogenes to drive lymphoma development when they are overexpressed. Um, at that time, our findings were um, somewhat surprising and, and contrasted with a, what was a developing consensus in the field, was, which was that these genes are primarily um, tumor suppressor genes and that the fusion of oncoprotein counterparts generated by chromosomal translocations are actually dominant negatives of these um, oncogenes, of these tumor suppressors. So it is clear that there is a special relationship between the MIC genes and the RUNX oncogenes in lymphoma development. And around 10 years ago, we showed that um, they collaborate by cancelling out each other's fail-safe responses, which are respectively apoptosis and senescence. And these would limit the oncogenic potential of each gene expressed on their own. We believe that our latest study published in Oncotarget represents an important step forward because it shows that the basal level of RUNX1 is important to sustain lymphoma cells in the immune MIC model of Burkitt lymphoma. In other words, a tumor can be dependent on RUNX1 without an obvious genetic change such as, such as copy number gain or mutation. This significantly widens the horizon for RUNX oncogenic function in cancer and its relevance. And what we did was using an inducible Cree deletion system, we showed that normal lymphoid cells can sustain deletion of one allele of the RUNX genes, RUNX1 gene, but primary lymphoma cells are much more dependent and strongly retain both alleles. We were somewhat surprised that cell lines established from these lymphomas that have lost P53 function were able to grow in the complete absence of RUNX1. However, although these cells were viable, uh, we found that they have a growth disadvantage compared to cells expressing RUNX1. Um, and they, more importantly, perhaps, were more sensitive to DNA damage and also glucocorticoid treatment uh, after RUNX deletion. So these observations suggest to us that antagonizing RUNX function may be a useful therapy strategy, particularly in tumours of the hematopoietic system that are driven by MIC overexpression. Also, targeting RUNX1 may be useful even in the most aggressive tumours that have lost B53. So our current plans are to extend these findings to other MIC-driven cancers to see whether they are also RUNX dependent. Another key question we want, we want to follow up is which of the novel RUNX targets that we have identified are critical in driving cell survival and proliferation. And finally, we're also collaborating with colleagues who have developed, developed new small molecule inhibitors of the RUNX protein interaction with their cofactor CBF beta. And we are currently testing these compounds in combination with standard chemotherapeutics.